Hello learners of class 10. Welcome to the wonderful world of English language classroom. Learners, hope you are doing well. We have done a lot of lessons class 10. We are in the middle of the year. Today, learners, let's do a poem. It's part of the lesson 1, letter to God. So, let's let's have some questions to ourselves before we move on to read the poem. So, learners, I'm going to ask you some questions. Before that, let me introduce uh, Kriti today. Kriti, how are you? I'm good, sir. Thank okay, you. Okay. Uh, learners, uh, uh, there are some occasions we are happy, some occasions we are sad, yes, and sir. some occasions we are angry also. So, how are you feeling today now? Sir, I feel happy today. Oh, oh. Is there any reason for being happy? Sir, it was a pleasant morning mm. and we just have festivities over. Fine, so all right, all right. celebrations, yes. so a lot of festivals, this is festival season also, yes, fine. Sir. All right, then you said pleasant morning. So what makes you feel happy about the pleasant morning? So the sunrise, the flowers which shine in the sunrise in the morning cool. gives me a pleasant Okay, feeling. cool breeze and yes, all, fine. Sir. Learners, uh, okay, now I'm going to ask you a very serious question. There are occasions you are sad and what are those occasions? Sir, there are various occasions, uh, mm. like recently we also have co we also had COVID. Mm. So we still have COVID. Yeah, yeah. we <laughs> still have COVID and due to which a lot of that's happened. Okay. Like, so that was one such aspect uh, which made me sad. Okay, then that's fine. And learners and you, mm. there are occasions we feel sad without reason. Yes, sir. Is there, is there any such occasion in your life? Yes, or, sir, there is definitely. Then why, why, why are we sometimes feel sad? sometimes feel happier and sometimes angry with or without reasons. Sometimes we get angry with people, then let us say that oh, I shouldn't have got angry that, that yeah. much. Yes, so fine. Sir. So what does it tell about human uh, thinking and human mood? So it, it tells us that the human mood changes a lot in a short span of time. Like sometimes we are just happy and we become angry in the minutes of second. Okay, fine. Yeah. And then we also don't have to some extent, not much control over it. Yes. And some, some of the time, we, we, we don't even know why it happens to us. So, learners, today let's see one such poem, The Dust of Snow by Robert Frost. Uh, and let, let's get into the poem. Okay, sir. Okay, let, let me read out to you as it appears on your screen. Dust of snow, the way a crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of the day I have reviewed. Okay. Do you get anything out of it? Yes, sir. I am getting some of the ideas. Yes, not much. Okay. Yeah. Let's read again. Okay. Dust of snow, the way a crow shook down on me, the dust of snow from a hemlock tree has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of the day I had reviewed. Okay. There are two things the poet presents. The crow fl flew over, flies over the hemlock tree. We will yes. talk about hemlock tree later. Okay. Then the hemlock tree, as you see on the screen, uh, is is you know uh, grows in hilly, snowy mountains, covered with snow most of the time in the winter. Then it, the, the the crow flies over it, and some snow falls on the Poet. Poet. That's, that's the scene. Very, very simple thing which you may have uh, sensed uh, uh, even if you are not uh, 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 living in a uh, no, no, um, snowy, snowy mountainous mountain. area. Yeah. The look, at, look at the poem again. The way a crow shook down on me, the dust of snow from hemlock tree has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of the day I had rode. Okay. What do you get out of it now? Learners, I'm not going to explain to you line by line, word by word. Okay, let's let's derive the meaning because it's a very abstract poem. Okay, what do you get of it? Out of it, sir, so, I think the poet was not in a very good mood, and he was sitting under a hemlock tree, and a crow flew by, and some snow fell on him. How so do you he, say that he was sitting under the hemlock tree? Because sir, when the snow I feel that he was walking along. 
Okay, I, I find see. anything maybe anything yeah. maybe fine. All right, now let let me ask you to read. Sure, sir. Yeah. Dust of snow. The way a crow shook down on me, the dust of snow from a hemlock tree, has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day I had rued. Fine. All right. So this is the meaning. So I shouldn't have said, but still I'm saying. Now again, look at the words, learners. The way the way a crow shook down on me, the dust of snow from a hemlock tree has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of the day I had rude. So the whole thing is one sentence, let us see. Yeah. So there's lots of techniques the poet uses, we'll come to that later. So now, uh, there's a poisonous tree, the, it, 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 it blossoms white. Hmm. And it, that also signifies uh, people, okay. quote unquote, bad people or evil people. Okay. People who have who have evil designs look fine outside. No, so the tree, hemlock tree, which is poisonous. If you if you consume the leaves or the flower or the fruit, whatever, uh, it will be poisonous to you. But it it blossoms very fine. You must have seen many many poisonous plants. The the flowers are very fine. So the point is also saying the contradiction, what people have inside, the world has inside and what the world shows outside. Okay. But, but nature doesn't show it. So the poet has come all through the, all through the uh, way from his home to walk along the trees and the crow comes. So now you tell me, there are three, three symbols here. Okay. The hemlock tree, the poet, uh, the crow. Okay. So let me let us also take the snow. Okay. So what do you understand by that? Uh, sir, I think the crow signif signifies the poet's mood, which was changing, changing, swinging. Let us yeah. say, yeah, okay, yeah. which swings, yeah. fine. Yeah. Mm. And hemlock tree signifies that how the poet's mood changed From? as soon as mm. he like he, the snow fell on him. Okay, but the snow has fallen uh, uh, or falls on him. From a poisonous tree. Yeah, yeah. So he had been sad all through the day. Yes, sir. And the crow comes, it changes. Yeah. So learners, you have to interpret it. When you read your poem, you have to decode it your own way, connecting with your life experience and the poet's experience. Let's forget the poet for some time. Okay. You need not bother about Robert Frost is an American poet. I'm not going to talk about the poet. Uh, we need not know. You can Google or you can read about the poet and find out. He was a great Nobel laureate. Uh, uh, he is a great writer with peace, everything. So that's not the thing. Now what the poet has written in the poem, that's all. So let me read again. The way a crow shook down on me, the dust of snow from a hemlock tree has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of the day I had rude. Okay, I had rude, I had felt, I had regretted. Regretted, yes. But sir. why some part of the day it has changed, not the everything? So can we take the whole day as life of, uh, of a human being? Yes, sir, we can take it. So, uh, so what does it signify? Sir, it, it does signify that the time actually, because, okay. hmm. because once how you know fast the time is moving, and we are not feeling if we are we we are feeling sad or angry we are losing that time in from our lives so we should be like happy or we should be behave pleasantly so we don't regret the time we have you know uh, been angry or sad absolutely learners this is what the poem is trying to convey come on let us let us go a bit deeper look at it i said the symbol of crow Crow in Indian, 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 Indian thinking practice, Indian belief system. What does it? Do you know about it? In some parts of India and in most part of India, uh, people believe that uh, crows are uh, the representations, symbolic representations, representatives of our ancestors, ancestors. who passed away. Yes. Sir. So in the, every every year we, sell, we we remember our uh, people who ancestors who passed away. And the first thing in some parts of South India and in many parts uh, they feed the crows first. Yes. Sir. So here crow is considered to be a the inheritor of or the the souls, the atma of the people who passed away in our families, everybody's family. But here, look at it. What is crow here? Sir, I think uh, the crow signifies the relevance of time. And change. Yes. Okay, and time and change. Yes. Where sir. is it? Where is it? Which line? Sir, 
it, it, it comes in first first line first actually. line okay. the way a crow shook hmm. down on me hmm. why yeah. why the poet says he never said a crow came and shook the tree he said the way the way crow the way a crow shook down on the dust of snow from the from the hemlock tree the way it shook why is there a different way uh, 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 the, uh, 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 each bird or each human shakes the tree or shakes something so there might be there i so, think there is so the poet looks at uh, the way the crow shakes the tree yes so that is so he looks he, he took it as a kind of change of mood yes sir. so the way it took and 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 look at it that a change of mood and saved some part of a day i had viewed i i had been regretting the, the small change small so let learners don't think that life is full of troubles kriti yes. uh, uh, li life changes then the change is in you yes the, the the crow may have brought it but he took it okay my mood changed that's why now i'm going to ask you um, um, to do it here okay, uh, uh, here uh, the mood of the poet how it changes the before the crow after the crow so learners let's let's uh, ask kriti to write to the mood of the poet before the crow shakes the tree hemlock tree and how his mood changes come on let me read out the poem again okay sir dust of snow the way a crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day i had rued come on let's write let's find how the mood changes okay sir ah, there are some that are that are hidden you will have to unearth it right okay come okay on, sir come on, come on so you draw a line first mood at the point yes sir. yeah mood at the point then before the shaking of the snow laden tree so before hmm. after right bigger yeah hmm. let learners uh, see that after okay now you have to find the words phrases from the poem okay come on okay sir so i will have to analyze the poem and write the what, words whatever whatever okay and some some words from the poem itself okay yeah. okay yeah so sir uh, i will write down before the poet was in a very uh, we can say depressive mood fine uh, we can also say it was he was in a dark mood okay why winter bitter yeah, bit and and uh, let me tell you learners winter is considered to be the bitter bitter time particularly in europe usa the, the cold countries but uh, some uh, somewhere in india winter is considered to be much more pleasant, pleasant because yes. our summer was much hotter yes. <laughs> okay fine so the bitterness suffering because food the, the animals suffer birds suffer of course and humans ultimately now a lot of technology we are keeping ourselves comfortable but that's what the poet is saying a kind of depression develops during a winter that's why uh, was it the poet you know kate sir shelley if winter comes winter comes uh, can uh, so uh, spring be uh, before, before behind yes. so spring also comes uh, soon after winter yes. fine all right so we can also say he was in a bitter mood bitter because mood. we uh, we have seen him we have heard him complaining fine and he was uh, he was not uh, regretting but he says i had viewed uh, so it was after no no after the snow fell huh? then he was regretting no no let me let I me read out let me read out okay, okay. um the way a crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree has given my heart a change of mood after the crow has crossed the hemlock tree some dust of snow fell on him yes, then and saved some part of a day i had rued some part of the day has been saved now the day i had rued i was regretting okay he was regretting so regretting. we can write he was regretful as well mm. but after the fall of snow i don't think he is very happy but mood changed mood changed okay i'm yes, giving sir. you clue for what okay. happens after okay. okay come on right so right. sir uh, we can say he became a little more um, conscious fine. of the time fine uh we can also say that like you said his mood changed 
Hmm. So he was. But we do not know whether for happy okay. uh, happiness or sadness continues. But mood changed. Mood changed. Some shaking happens. Okay. So Ayah. sir, hmm. uh, we can say uh, mood changed or pleasant. Okay. Fine. Okay. Whatever you feel. Okay. Let learners decide. Okay, sir. Okay. So I will write down mood changed. Fine. Not much to yes, say. Yes, sir. Then now I'm going to ask you a question. Yes, sir. Who is responsible for the mood, change of the mood of the poet? Fine. The other one is this. Firstly, secondly, the hemlock tree, which is poisonous, but with blossoming with white flowers, camouflaged with the white flowers means appear, appearing to be fine. Means it's fine, peaceful, but inside there is poison, and the snow has covered both of all of them. Then the crow also comes with his wings, you know, flying, uh, shaking, but it changed. All these, what, what can you call all of these? Sir, I can say these are the elements in the poem which helped. Uh, elements in the poem, poem which, of course. Yeah, which. No, from where the poet takes it. Sir, I guess he is taking from everywhere. Like Na nature. These are, yeah, it's it's hints from everywhere from yeah, the nature. So nature, nature. Yes, yes. So. Sir. Ultimately, learners, we can therefore logically infer it is the nature which admires him. Yes, true, sir. Which, which is the nature which offers us the change of mood from regret, sadness, bitterness to happiness yes. or whatever. Okay. No, no. Okay. Let me also draw your attention, learners and Kriti. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, the world today is debating on climate change. Yeah. So, a lot of climate change, a lot of uh, disasters, recent flood in India. Uttaranchal, Germany, Australia, wildfires. The climate is changing due to whose actions? So our actions. Uh, human actions. Yes, human so actions. So here, the poet looks at the na at the nature and the actions in nature that actually changes his mood from bitterness, sadness, regret to something else, if not complete happiness. Yes, exactly. But what yeah. are we doing to nature? Is the question I'll. Let to you learners and Kriti, but uh, before we close the poem, some of the things we need to tell the uh, learners as well as you also have to learn. Okay. I would like you to read the poem again. Sure, sir. Dust of snow. The way a crow shoot down on me, the dust of snow from a hemlock tree has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day I had rude. Fine, all right. Now, I'm going to ask you, do you find any strange pattern in the sentence? Sir, I think they are short. Mm, fine, all right. This, uh, and uh, uh, there are no punctuations. Fine, all right. Second one, we'll come yes, to sir. that later. Okay, and the sir. whole poem is in one sentence. Yes, sir. One line in a way, if you write it, but divided into two paragraphs. Two paragraphs. Why? This is what the beauty of the poem uh, uh, learners. So, poetical language. The language of poetry is different from language of prose. You write a paragraph, a news item, completely with full stop. The poet has, the uh, poets have their own mm, licenses to do that. Now, look at it. One technique the poet uses is, look at. I'm going to read again. Okay, the sir. way a crow shook down on me, the dust of snow from a hemlock tree has given my heart. A change of mood. Let me stop it there. And there is an and. We'll come to that. Okay. Now look at it. There is some technique the poet uses which we call inversion. The inversion. Suppose uh, I talk to you. Sometimes in poetically, I do talk to you, or I talk to you. Eh? Talk to you. I something like that. Okay. So he okay. in means interchanges. Look at it. What is that inversion technique? Here is the way a crow shook down on me. The dust of snow from a hemlock tree has given my heart. Look at it. The dust of snow has given my heart from a hemlock tree. That is the that is techniques called this technique is called inversion. The were the, the has given my heart should have come before from a hemlock tree. This this technique uses. Okay. Okay. The second technique is called assonance. Look at the read the second line. Shook down on me. Okay, look at shook down on me. Look at the use of the letter O. Hmm. Hmm. Shook down oh. on me. Almost kind of uh, uh, nearer to uh, alliteration, but this is called assonance. So you may you may further uh, 
know about it. So he, the poet uses. The third one is what you pointed out in the beginning, enjambment. That is, there's no punctuation, no punctuation here. Yes. So learners, this, these three aspects, I would like to draw your attention. One is what? Inversion. Inversion. Assonance. Assonance. And enjambment. Okay, without punctuation. Yeah. Now, uh, lastly, learners, before we close, uh, let me ask Kriti to find the rhyme scheme of the poem. I think you must have been acquainted from class six onwards. What is the what is rhyme? What is rhyme scheme? How it rhyme is schemed in a way. So uh, you may keep the uh, paper here and write. And learners, let me quickly tell you how we can find a rhyme scheme. Okay. So, uh, you tell them. So we have to uh, so we have to identify the last uh, word? word of the sentence of the each line of each line mm. actually with the other line if it's uh, matching it or rhyming it rhyming it with uh, rhyming, it with, uh, rhyming uh, with the other sentence or not okay. and we have to uh, find, find out the closest okay and the sound of the last word of each line yes. matters yeah. okay, come on can you find it rhyme scheme so so the first line we can say is a crow okay. then shook down on me hmm. this B. can be second b b then the dust of snow so sir we can see that the snow is rhyming with crow fine so a so we will write down a a okay then from a hemlock tree hmm. tree is rhyming with me okay so we will say b b okay can we say the uh, rhyme scheme of the poem is A B A B? Yes, sir. We can the, say let's that. Let's do the rest of the lines. Okay. Hmm. Has given my heart. It can be A A. Hmm. A change of mood. Hmm. It can be B. And saved some part. So part is rhyming with heart. Fine. It is A, a again. Of a day I had rude. B B. Okay, what is the rhyme scheme now, learners? Sir, it's A, B, A, B. Okay, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. Fine. All right, learners, this is how uh, we understand your poem and appreciate your poem. And let me tell you, learners, don't go for the meaning of word by word. Of course, you can go for it. Read the poem many times in order to, we call it decode it, understand it, demystify it. Okay, let, let me close it with uh, the last reading. Uh, uh, let me do it. Okay, fine. Okay, okay. Dust of snow, the way a crow shook down on me, the dust of snow from a hemlock tree has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day I had rued. Learners, this is what all about the poem Dust of Snow. You read, reread, and the exercises given in the book we haven't done. You attempt it based on your understanding. Also find out some information, the life of Robert Frost, an American poet, later went back to England. So he was a Nobel, uh, Nobel laureate. You talked about time in the poem, no? Yes. Sir. He has written um, a, po a poem on time, four quarters. Okay. Time past, time present. He, has, he was actually was obsessed. He is obsessed with time, how time and human time changes, life changes. That's what, this is what uh, all you have for you learners. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Kriti. Thank you, sir. So we'll meet you in the next lesson. Till then, take care.